Well, hey there, everybody. It's August 16, 2010. Coming off of the great success of my video yesterday, which is really only has a thousand views because I typed the name Dustin Johnson in it, oh well. You know, sometimes you just got to be smart with your titles and it'll at least get your channel recognition a little bit. Anyway, I'm here with Mr. Coca-Cola Vanilla and Mr. Regular Boring Old Stupid Pepsi. Now, you remember a few years back when Sammy Sosa was like, Oh, I took the Pepsi challenge and I love a Pepsi. I take a steroids, I cork in my butt. I know my face is a bleach. That was like Italian, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, Coke, Pepsi. Most of you guys all know, I'm a Coke guy. I love Coke. I love just copious amounts of Coke every day. <sighs> so good. So vanilla. Now, Pepsi here is the inferior soda by far. I just said soda. Wow, weird. Is the inferior pop. Uh, which is why I haven't taken the liberty to actually open it, and I won't, because first of all, it'd just be a waste of a Pepsi. Not that it matters, but Dad drinks it, so I'm gonna stick here with my uh, delicious Coca-Cola vanilla, and the Pepsi can just sit here and uh, evaporate into oblivion. So, so. This is an impression of this computer program that we used to have on our old Macintosh back in like the 90s, early 90s, when we were like five, six, seven years old. And we had this little painting program. If you wanted to paint a picture and save it, you click on save, and then this weird voice came up and said, Do you want to save this picture? And he spaced out picture, like he was having a stroke in the middle of the word picture. They're like, what, who makes that for a kid's program? Oh, hey, you're a crazy homeless old guy. You want to come here and do this voiceover for this computer game. I would like to do that video game. Do you want to save this picture? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I don't. It's an older neighborhood, so I don't relate. I'm not feeling the vibe of the place very much. It's kind of foreign and strange, and there's weird cars everywhere. There's a sign of this says speed hump. That What does speed hump mean? Speed hump. That's all I picture. A bunch of pervs that live back here. Jeez. Actually, it sounds more exciting than the street that I live on. It's just two one street over. How about that? We live on the most boring street in America, and this one's full of, uh, well, speed humpers. You want to, I'm not making it up. There's speed hump. They hump with great accuracy and speed and deadliness. One, two, three garages. What do I get? Why? Three garages. We like, oh, we can keep our Corvette in one, our limousine in the other, and then we can have an underground passage where we keep rest of our cars and then we can sit right above it. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's just, it's stupid. This is a stupid neighborhood. It's stupid, stupid trees and stupid plants. I punch you. I spit on your neighborhood. I am now out of the dumb and stupid version of our neighborhood, and I've moved into the... Uh, more recent, newer, nicer, bigger home area. There's a haunted house around here somewhere. That's an old one, but it's kind of cool because I'm pretty sure that it's inhabited by crazy witch people from like the 1700s, and they just sit there and just like, hey, well, let's get the kids rocking by. Where are they at? Let's duck their brains out. They might. I don't know. But I'm gonna find it somewhere. I'll show you guys. It's cooler because it's at night. It's like ghost hunters, only better because it's real. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Everything is just dark and scary. It's not like everything else is light. Mm, light. Dark Satan lives here. Just everything about it just seems like a huge backyard. So I just feel like, you know, Michael Myers is probably lives in there and plays poker with Freddy and Leatherface and Jason Voorhees and all those guys. It's not new. Okay, so a little bit ago there was cars just driving by the road everywhere. Like every turn I went, there's cars, 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 cars. Now all of a sudden there's nothing. There can only be one logical explanation. This neighborhood is haunted, and everybody obviously has to be inside at a certain time. And then the horrible Dybbuk that haunts these woods at 8.35 comes and sweeps out all the souls of the people that uh, aren't inside. I will be okay because I don't live in this neighborhood, and I'm heading back right now. So if that Dybbuk shows up, I'll punch that Dybbuk in his Dybbuk face. All right? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Check, check, check. Check it. Hehehehe. <laughs>